Gary Spen. I think every English analyst always hates on Gary Spen, and typically with good reason. It just seems to lose and lose. If I remember correctly, didn't uh, it was Shanghai Major was like a game that went to like 2 a.m. It was like OG versus uh, Fnatic, and they had Kerry Spen versus Dusa. Just like know that that's yeah. eventually gonna lose. Kerry Spen first blood does go the way of the Kerry Spen. Yep, that's yeah, good start. My mem fond memories of Kerry Spen is like um, 2000 Moon, Abed Moon, yeah. and uh, I mean, I'm out here. Um, yep. Moon is Olympics. so good. I think Moon might be like my number one underrated like player because mm -hmm. Mineski is not too good right now, but my guy never loses his lane. His top lane, these poison sacks, AU. you. Oh, the neutrals and ancients used to give a lot more gold. That was kind of Sven in his prime was back in the stack meta. Oh. Here we go. Rotation from Armel. First move of the game with the boat here catches out the Ursa. Nice little kill coming in from him as. Really nice rotation. Yep. He says, I see Arcane Rune here, so wants to make his mo name known on this map. Could get some nice kills here. Gets skewered back into the tower, but he's got plenty of health to play around with. Could catch Raven as well. Should be a kill. As gets some good value out of the Arcane Rune. Good good first move from, from D Stones. Because their Ursa hasn't uh, dominated as hard as he normally does in the laning phase, it's not Jug. Jug's not going to roll around in the map. Yeah. I like this move, though. To contest the stack, yeah, that's really cool. It's this is the Magnus's. Oh yeah, and that's the thing. Magnus is not level six, and even if he was, this is just not a time where he's that good at fighting. But they're gonna catch Melodius the Ursa once again, pull him back with the X boat, and they got the damage for this kill here. Yes, they do with the Corrosive Haze, the Amber Force to Remnant out of there. Luckily, that Arcane Rune meant he still has mana left. I f oh, the Courier flies over it. I don't even think know if that was intended. I think it was just sending Magnus an item. They're gonna know now. Oh, this that is, is really unfortunate. so They're unfortunate. Pinging. They're pinging. Just a random courier bringing items to Magnus. We'll scout the Ursa out. He's so low as well. The RP on the Enrage. The Skewer out. The Roche is incredibly low. The boat with the Torrent. It's Magnus going down though. They didn't quite combo, combo the spells. There's some whiffing going on. Yeah, the Skewer made the boat miss. I think that skewer to get them out of the Roshan pit did not pan out how they liked Roshan's you. Roshan's getting really low. They've killed Ursa, who's got it. AU's, AU's got, got it. it. Yeah, the Shadow Demon. AU's been so on point this game. What an absolute mess around the pit here. As they're going to get Ember as well, and all oh, D-Stones. His killing spree being ended here. There is a Shrine for Wolfgang, but Gabby with the stun should be able to maybe finish off this kill. Spinning He's waiting a couple for seconds. Yeah. Can they... Yeah, they're not going to... Oh, that was so cool! The cleave Arvel. off of those neutral... I'm telling you, man. Boy's a beast. War cries out. I don't even know if they have damage to kill him. If they <laughs> went on him as three. <laughs> I kind of doubt it. As elsewhere, it uh, looks like they are going to get a big bottom lane. Melodious X back. I think it's one of those heroes. Like, the... Just... What the hero does, I feel like he's always going to be relevant because of the way X is such a good catch. Like, both damage is like, almost like Finger of Death level AoE damage with a stun. It's like... Oh, no, pretty short cooldown. It, it bothers me that Disruptor's so bad and then Kunkka's so good. Yes. Oh, nice. He did not time that at all. Ooh. Did not see that he was X'd. Is gonna pay for it. And Ember Spirit has no armor, by the way. So when he gets, uh, when he actually gets gone on and uh, has the corrosive haze on him, he dies in like two seconds. I think that's always what's kind of crazy to, yeah, like the oh, catch top Wolfgang. He's in trouble here. He can't TP out because of the bashes. There's another bash, I believe, on his next hit. There we go with the crush. He just brings him down through the Jeez. healing ward heal. Solo kill from Raven. He just crushed him. This 414 slaughter build. Doing work. The sprint chase is there, and they're not done. They've got an X boat coming out. It's going to bring back the Ursa. He gets picked off. 9k gold lead. TNC just steamrolling. Stolen RP. Well. You get some style points, maybe with the Earth Blade to follow up, but I don't think you're getting any kill points for it. And it's still just the three kills to their tally, and they want more. They've got another act. It's just the cooldown on this spell is just incredible. Everything about it, like you say, it's a better glimpse. It's a be it's a much better glimpse. It's kind of funny when you compare like supports to cores and what their spells do, and it's just like, well, it's no wonder like heroes like Disruptor are a support when you compare their toolkit to Kunkas. Yeah, supports. Art supports because their toolkits are just shit compared to carries or like mids typically. Use it defensively too, yeah. and uh, it's, it's really the cooldown. 
Yeah, the yeah. cooldown is the worst part about it well, because if you're behind against a Kunkka, you know you've lost the team fight because a you're gonna get boated and boat buff is just straight up broken in that regard. Like it's such a rich get richer concept. I mean, compare boat to like lion ultimate. It's oh, like Raven. This was not. Uh, he, you're getting eyes no, left, yeah. And the army, so they have to commit a lot, but. Like Lion Ultimate, it's only slightly more damage. It's single target boat. You get the buff. You get AOE. Yeah. You get the stun. And yeah, you've got to land it where his finger is single target. Or else just putting on a bit of a show so far on the hero. But we'll see a bit of a defense down bottom. Can D-Stones get away from this X-Torrent combo? Does do so. Times the Remnant a bit better. He's still on the run, though. There's going to be a Stormbot to follow him up. Is the damage there with the stomp from Ghost? And the Earthspur catches out three as well. Magnus in trouble. He's just going to solo RP the ET. Immediately skewers. Not wanting to give any chance for a steal. And they still want to catch D-Stones. And you betcha, they'll get him. Two more kills going their way. And TNC take a tier two tower. They are steamrolling through room 310. This game is a stomp right now. And they're not done. And the Ursa who has already had such a rough game. Did they first pick Slaughter this game? Because this hero is just actually owning. I can't recall, but this is very impressive. Anything for them, and their setup is just not very good. Like their way of catching and starting team fights, I think, is really mediocre. Is Raven with a good catch here? Got no escape. You, you can't spin TP away from a slider with the the new bash. Like they they just have no way to start fights, whereas. Uh, TNC have one, two, three. They can't force a fight. They can just take Roshan and start taking towers. This is the Rubik. benefit of being as far ahead as you are. He's just running in alone, and yeah, I think no surprise he gets caught out there. Can they actually finish him off? They should be able to. Yeah, they got him. Yeah, like, that's a very early god strength. He did not. He has a blink, so he could have followed up to get in there, but. He'll just take the tier 2 tower back off. Roche has respawned, and they'll scout this out with the Slider, I believe, who has got the Corrosive Haze, um, which will bring Roche down incredibly fast. And there is, like, zero to do to contest this one. Even with, like, some good Roche contested like an, e contested like an ET. And Ursa's actually been caught out above, so... It could be Roche plus a kill. Melodious. Melodious. Picked off as well. It's one of those games that's kind of, you know, hard to watch. Not much too much. And I think you just click buttons and play it out. Yeah, I'm not. But you're not feeling good about it. You're hoping for the TNC overextension. It never feels good having to win a game off of somebody else's mistake. Mm. Like, you, you don't want to just be like, well, guys, you have no. Till their throne is being attacked and they know it's going to die and they can't defend it. And that's kind of where Room 310 are right now. They, they, th This game is not in their control. It is a loss game unless TNC dive Tier 4s um, and feed away their lives. Which I think they'd have to dive Tier 4s more than once. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're seeing the picks come off. We're seeing them disciplined, focusing down the racks, not chasing for kills, dodging the ET stuns, doing all the right things here. As Kunkka will get lifted up. He's got the Aegis. Oh, man. Yeah. I'll just take Rax back off. It's one of those games where if this was just an online tournament, or there wasn't, you know, 900k in prize money out for grabs, GG would be called. Yeah. Oh, it would have been called a while back. Yeah. This is where Impulse go next. Even if you're not raging at each other and feeding mid, it's just, you know, it's, it's a done done deal. But Lando is a di different beast, and that's what Room 310 is trying to show here. They are going to try to take things into their own hands here. But it's right into an Invis Kunkka, who they will see, but he's got an Aegis. I, if, I think this just goes horribly wrong for them. Sven blinks in, he's got a Stormhammer on the Rubik. Uh, they're going to follow it up with a Blink Stun coming out as well, and they are just going to take Room 310 down one by one. Melody's going for a TP out, that's ambitious, and he'll make it out. Ah, uh, Mel, uh, there goes the Aegis. Well, D-Stones can be happy with that one, but the rest of his team mostly going to be falling in. D-Stones does have a Remnant left, so he... Can Remnant a little bit further away, but this next Remnant does not go particularly far as he gets torrented up. D-warding in the middle of this gank is the Sven. And you got to imagine that. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, there we go. They get another X out. This should be the death of him as he gets X torrented. The Chinese are always like, no, we can't show his death. Back comes in the Ursa. 
Trying to get a kill here. They lose D-Stones, but the instant disruption is there. D-Stones gets tipped oh. by Gabby. Ooh, I like it. Spicy. And GG's gone. Um, ouch. That was an absolute shellacking. They yeah. didn't do anything in any of the three lanes. Honestly, they couldn't really make any plays with the heroes that they had. D-Stones had like one or two mi nice maneuvers, but I, this game...